Hey kids, in this video we're going to do a little bit of a uh, look at some trail cameras. Uh, just recently I had a Motri 999i model trail camera that, uh, well it had a problem. There's always something that needs fed up here on Grandpa's Farm in Alaska. A place where you're always welcome. Come on Lily, let's go feed. Um, it had been working fine. I just bought them two weeks ago on the 3rd of September. Today's the 16th of September. Uh, they were working fine out in the woods. I brought them in yesterday to do a video, uh, do a live stream to show some of the equipment that I use. And when I went to go put them back out this morning, it would not turn back on. Uh, so the Motri i999. Now I really like the Motris. I have two of them. Lily, get away from the camera. I like the Motris, I have two of them and they seem like they work pretty well. Um, I was really impressed with the footage, the grizzly bear footage that I showed in a previous video. Um, I'll show that again here. Uh, really good footage, you can see that it gets a really nice picture. Uh, I liked them because they were a 20 megapixel video uh, shooting in high def. Unfortunately, it wouldn't turn back on. We tried everything we could, I took it back to the store. I only bought it two weeks earlier so they went ahead and refunded me. Now it was my intention to buy another one of exactly the same make of camera, but they didn't have any more. The guy checked his inventory and said, well our inventory shows one. So he went on a hunt trying to find out what happened and they did in fact have another one in stock. However, it was in the shipping department being shipped back to the manufacturer. So apparently my camera and somebody else's camera that were bought here at the Sportsman's Warehouse in Wasilla, Alaska, two of the uh, Motri uh, 999i trail cameras had to be returned because they weren't turning back on. So maybe there's an issue, maybe it was something unrelated, I don't know. Um, but it was a bad flag to me to see that mine and somebody else's wasn't working. Uh, so I went and I bought Cuddybacks. This was the next best camera that they had on hand here at the Sportsman's Warehouse. Now this is also a uh, infrared. This is the Cuddyback Blue Series. And Lily, get. You're knocking into the camera. Get. Get. Dogs. Should have put her in a crate. Uh, anyhow, it's a Cuddyback Blue and it does have uh, infrared capabilities. I bought two of them. I'm going to give them a try. Now these are a lot more compact than the Motri. A lot smaller. And one of the things I do like is the mount system for this. It comes with this little plastic tray that I can take a cordless drill and I can screw it to a tree, which means I could use a very small tree, even a little sapling if I wanted to. Not too small because the wind would make this thing go all bonkers, but a small tree. And then this simply slides on and off which makes it really easy when I go out to check the trail cameras and to pull the cards. Now, on the Motri, there was a little quick clip system on the front, and I'll shoot some footage of one of those here in a little bit, um, to open it up, and then you could get the SD card out. On the Cuddybacks, there's a gate here on the bottom. You have to turn this brass screw and after you turn the brass screw, there's a little door that opens up. A little door that opens up. And then there's the SD card and a, a USB place to plug in a USB to download. But what I'm going to do is I'm just simply going to pull, if I can get the card out. I may need to bring my needle nose pliers with me. I'll just pull the card, swap in another card, and go on. The batteries in these things last a long time, like, you know, the eight. Uh, the eight batteries that it takes, AA batteries, will last the entire season, uh, all of hunting season. So, uh, anyhow, infrared, uh, shoots high def video and takes uh, 20 megapixel stills. Got a little quick mount. You undo these two brass screws here. That opens up the back and gives access to the battery compartment. It's got a little gasket around that so it's watertight. And then all the controls are behind this little door right here, uh, which is also sealed pretty tight, soft rubber, uh, and that gives you access to the control panel. Uh, and um, it's pretty extensive, actually, on these. I find the Cuddybacks offer uh, a lot more uh, control options 
on on the different settings that I can set it up for. Um, so it will remains to be seen what kind of pictures we get from these. But as soon as it stops raining outside, I'm going to go run these two cameras out and I'll put them out. Now, the system, like I said, this can be mounted to a tree with some screws. Or you can also just use a strap, just like the uh, Motries used. The Motries had a strap that they strapped on. Uh, but they also had a, a bolt system that you could use. But I kind of like this idea of being able to just simply go out and just hang it on a tree. And again, this is a lot smaller than the Motri 999i. Now we'll see if it works. And I'll give you an update as that happens.
that's the one that filmed that big grizzly bear with her two cubs I'm on the trail that runs north south along the back border of my property anything sneaking up behind me just so you can see how I travel I'm on the four-wheeler I have my 4570 out on the front and I have my Glock close at hand because out here in the big woods with these grizzly bears around you just got to be careful so anyhow let's go before we waste all of the microchip on that camera This is now my third trail cam location. Right back there we made the turn on the corner of the property. On this camera all we're doing is swapping out the... We're just going to swap out the card. So we'll put this to off. pop out someone's horns beeping wonder what that's all about 
And even out here in the big woods of Alaska, you still get some stupid shit going on. Okay, put that in the right pocket. Slide your card in. Turn that back on. It should be all set. Yep, okay. way up the trail but that's all right I'll get the morning sunlight in its eyes but it should be all right the rest of the day then Sorry, east. Well, I want to film south. That's a nice view right down there. Yeah, we'll get a lot of footage right there. Let's do that.
gonna do a little gonna do a little tree trim in here. Whoop. I gotta tighten those up. Not too keen on that system. That's number four. My only concern with that location is the sun comes up there. So early morning it might have a little sunlight interference. But it's got a good shot up this little curve in the trail. So you can hear my roosters crowing in the distance. Shows you how close I am to the house. Let's go ahead back, head back. Exciting day today, we could do laundry, yeah. All right, let's go.
Well, there you go, folks. That's what it looks like when I go out and set my trail cams. I try to go out and reset them at least every other day or every third day, depending on the weather. It's been kind of rainy here, so I've been a little bit behind. As of right now, I have four trail cams out. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes. I will try to keep you as up to date as I can as whatever, whatever we find on the trail cam. So anyway, if you like this kind of thing, please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you another day. Thanks, guys. Bye. Well, how about them toad suckers? Ain't they sappy? Sucking them toads all sure make them happy. Hug them, mug of toad suckers way down south. Sticking them sucky toads in they mouth. I be a toad sucker knowing a duck it. You just find an old toad and you rear back and suck it. Folks, you have a good day. Bye.